Biodiversity Conservation Foundation is an NGO based on Tamil Nadu with the vision to visualize a society for promoting and assisting in healthy coexistence of human and wildlife and ultimately ensuring conservation of biodiversity. Strategic implementation of this mission drives us to handle research and reaching stakeholders in a very synchronized manner. Our research extends from ants to elephants and exploring effective management practices in the perspective of biodiversity conservation. With our wide research team, we were able to work from Nagapatnam to Valley of Flas, stretching across different landscapes and different people with varied dependency on the ecosystem. In a nutshell, we connect nature with people and people with nature. So let's get connected today also in the virtual platform to experience nature in an enhanced dimension. First of all, I wish to thank um, the, Dr. Kumaraguru giving me the opportunity to interact about that uh, subject, climate change impact on reptiles. In fact, that uh, Guru was my uh, age-old friend. He was discussing so many issues about uh, various climatic factors, changes happening, uh, like uh, Kaja, Cyclone, Vartha, and other kind of things. Two days back, we had a discussion about these uh, at uh, uh, Mumbai rainfall, uh, Idiki landslides and other things. That time, just he asked me, why don't you give some kind of presentation about climate change impact on reptiles? They, uh, really, I thought it's hard time to go for this kind of uh, refreshing our knowledge and uh, exploring the possibilities of impact of uh, climate change on reptiles. That's what I agreed for uh, giving this uh, lecture. What's happening that climate change, we are talking about various issues in the past uh, 50 years. Before going for a climate change, I thought of giving a small introduction about uh, reptiles. See that uh, reptiles are evolved in the world about 300, and, uh, 300 to 260 million years ago in the world. Interestingly, these uh, reptiles, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, occupied the entire uh, biosphere that's called age of reptiles, Carboniferous period. These reptiles ruled the whole world, earth, like dinosaurs and other things. Various cities and these uh, larger reptiles are perished and uh, smaller form of reptiles evolved. This happened around 300 million years back. Uh, interestingly, the, uh, further uh, going uh, for evolutionary history, turtles evolved about 220 million years back. Tomata, that is, uh, the snakes and lizards comes under order called suborder called Tomata. It evolved about 200 million years back. Crocodiles also evolved about uh, 50 million years back. When you're reviewing the literature of uh, evolution of man, it's hardly about uh, two lakh, uh, yeah, that is, uh, 22, uh, two, 2 million years back. So it's one of the oldest animals evolved in that world and uh, sometimes ruled the world also. So with these things, I am going for a how this evolution happened? Yes, all of us are there are a major group of animals are vertebrates and invertebrates. The invertebrates further divided into various uh, forms of uh, forms depending upon their evolutionary order. First uh, vertebrates is fish. From the tetrapods appeared. From the tetrapods, uh, amniotic eggs developed, for which the amphibians developed. Then subsequently, there is one more division is going for a, a diapsid which is uh, Lepidosaur and Archaeosaur. This uh, two division is one uh, division is going to uh, mammalian uh, evolution. Other thing is going for uh, uh, reptile evolution. Then from reptile to birds, uh, that uh, evolution also happened. This simple uh, reptile family tree. Then I am uh, coming to that uh, simple uh, language of uh, types of reptiles. The uh, reptiles, present day reptiles are classified or grouped into four. One is uh, turtles and tortoises. The second group is squamata, that is lizards and snakes. The third group is the crocodilians, crocodiles and alligators. The fourth group is a fossil, sorry, living fossil we call the uh, tuatara. It's found, uh, found in only New Zealand two species. 
this is uh, one of the oldest reptiles of the world then simply we classifying that uh, uh, reptile the reptile comes under uh, class reptilia phylum chordata further uh, suborder uh, crocodilia crocodiles means crocodiles gharials gaimans and alligators so the existing uh, crocodile uh, species are about 22 species then i was telling about spinodontia that is tutora there are two species uh, found in new zealand then tested in that is total sent artisis approximately 300 species are distributed across the world then very important and uh, largest group is called squamata that is one uh, sub group called uh, lizard another is snake almost about uh, 9000 species reported this is a uh, double of the mammalian uh, fauna of the world the before going for a uh, climate change i am uh, planning to give some kind of small introductions about general characters of reptiles the first and uh, foremost first land living the vertebrates is uh, our reptiles actually these are from fish to amphibians its uh, evolution is happening evolution of uh, amphibians are uh, as the name itself indicating it can live in both water and as well as uh, land from uh, water to that the first vertebrate is a reptile reptiles are evolved from amphibian interestingly the rect- uh, reptiles occupy all ecosystem land fresh water ocean like sea turtle fresh water turtle fresh water snake and uh, burrowing snake all these things uh, the all kind of ecosystem being uh, occupied by this uh, group of organisms it live all niches like what the micro i was telling about like micro uh, niches called leaf litter uh, creases and rock boulders everywhere it lives then uh, very interesting why this uh, the subject was chosen is the vertebrates are basically classified in two groups one is called uh, cold blooded animals and other group is called warm blooded animals this is uh, cold blooded animals amphibian reptiles are cold blooded animals uh, mammals and uh, birds are uh, warm uh, warm blooded animals what do you mean by cold blooded animals actually simple example is when uh, human being temperature is around 96 98 degree celsius this is determined by the body itself we can uh, uh, maintain the body temperature by our physiological system what's happening in uh, reptiles is not like that this body temperature is uh, being fluctuated based on the ambient temperature that's what this very important uh, group of animals whether have uh, what kind of influence over climate change is to be studied that's what this uh, title was discussed with me as well as uh, 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 by me with uh, dr kumar guru he has chosen this uh, subject then uh, very interestingly all the reptiles almost 99% reptiles are carnivorous it feeds on only uh, insects and other kind of larger animals then uh, that uh, most of the reptiles can by prey by sight then another very uh, telling about cold blooded animals uh, very important factor is most of them are oviparous some of viviparous some of oviparous so we viviparous what's happening is the sex determination or reproductive behavior is highly influenced by temperature i will be coming to that stage next what are the special character about reptiles that's what uh, i wanted to explain unlike birds and mammals reptiles do not maintain a constant internal body temperature that is called cold blooded animals the body temperature is being maintained according to the ambient temperature without fur or feathers for insulation they cannot stay warm on a cold day and without sweat glands or ability to pant they cannot cool off at hot one instead they have to move to the sunlight and to the shade as needed during cooler parts of the year they become inactive that is goes for hibernation because of the slow low metabolic rate and uh, heat seeking behavior reptiles should uh, be classified as a cold blooded animal what is the climate change i am coming to the level now the uh, united nation of cl- Uh, prepared a protocol called sustainable development goals it is a 17 goal to transform our world like uh, no poverty zero hunger something like that so out of uh, 17 uh, goals there is uh, one goal called uh, 13 climate action goal 13 is described that uh, goal 13 calls urgent action to combat climate change and its impact is interestingly intrinsically linked to all 16 of other goals of the 
30 agenda of sustainable development. So address the climate change. Countries adopted Paris Agreement to limit global temperature to rise to well below 2 degrees Celsius. These are the general uh, UN uh, declaration about the goal for 13. See what's happening subsequently in uh, 2020 in New Zealand uh, in a place called Atora, Atora Climate Change Declaration was announced at 9th World Congress of Herpetology held at University of Otago, which was attended by 870 delegates and 57, from 57 countries. In that Congress, the uh, impact of climate change and the health of the world, amphibian and reptile population was discussed. Actually, this uh, uh, Congress dealt seriously about uh, what would be the possible uh, impact on climate change on reptile, uh, reptile community. The international IUCN also gives a uh, red list. Today, herpetofauna are among the most imperiled species on Earth. Ambiguous taxing, global warming, non-native predators, over-exploitation or collection, habitat destruction and diseases are key factors leading to the demise. Globally, the 20% of the evaluated reptiles are threatened with the extinction, according to the IUCN. The situation is particularly uh, serious for turtles. Approximately 61% of the world turtles are threatened or already extinct. Here, I wanted to say simple uh, language of what is the climate change. <clears throat> See, nothing but uh, climate change have uh, various uh, parameters being studied, like desertification, increase in temperature, or frequent or uh, uh, rain as well as blood, these kind of things happening. What's happening in India, he said the several regions in India are global biodiversity source work with numerous endemic species of plant and animal. And with the climate changing more rapidly than usual uh, pace of evolutionary adaptability of many species, they may face increasing threats to threats on account of these uh, changes. Another significant uh, highlight is uh, assessment is 70% of the rainfall uh, received in India is uh, one of the primary drivers in rural agrarian community. Uh, it predicts that monsoon rainfall could change by uh, average of 14% in uh, 2,100 that go as 22.5% in future. The report does not mention this change will be increased or decreased, but still represent variability. It further says that overall rainfall during the monsoon season was decreased by 6% between 1950 to 2015. See, one of the major impact is uh, increasing the temperature. What we, as uh, all of us know, that lot of uh, 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 factors contributing increasing the temperature. The increasing temperature is a major havoc in the population of reptiles because already I was mentioning these reptiles are gold blooded animals which can uh, go with this ambient temperature. Increasing in ambient temperature will may lead to perish, uh, perish, uh, perishing its uh, reptiles group. Then it is very important about rainfall. Uh, the rainfall uh, play a major role in uh, habitat management. What's happening in Idiki, like this landslide, uh, that uh, very, very sensitive, cryptic creatures being uh, facing threats from uh, for, uh, for, uh, for threats, uh, threats uh, broadly that will lead to local uh, extinction. See that uh, India facing a serious uh, drought in the last 10 years. That is, the drought is not as, as usual like our uh, routine things. It's frequent drought means there are uh, desertification is happening in various parts of this country. This uh, desertification ultimately leads to uh, most dangerous to the reptilian community. What would be a climate change in reptiles? Changes in frequency and intensity of flood, cyclone, and other events inflicted on living organisms, particularly in hydrothermic cells, silver vertebrates, amphibian reptiles. Amphibian reptiles play a critical role in food chains, linking terrestrial and aquatic ecosystem on their ecology, connected with rainfall and uh, temperature patterns. Temperature play a vital uh, role in uh, reptilian physiology and reproduction. Increase the temperature or decrease the temperature could to drive population and species extinction. 
any alterations in the environmental temperature affects their activities, physiology, behavior, reproduction, uh, distribution pattern. Reptiles are comprised of multiple evolutionary lineages. Therefore, they are easily threatened, to, threatened due to the habitat loss and climate change. What I was mentioning earlier, that is, most of the reptiles, uh, their every reproductive physiology dependent on uh, external temperature, but the, the, the well-established study says, uh, in crocodiles at 30, less than 30 degrees Celsius, the uh, hatchlings, uh, that, if that uh, incubation is happening, most of them are, uh, most of the hatchlings are female. If it's at uh, 31 degrees Celsius, also that both uh, uh, hatchlings are both male, both sexes. If it's uh, exceeding uh, 30 degrees Celsius, they'll give mostly males. You imagine there is a changes in the atmospheric temperature. If there is, we're going to get only the unisex, either male or female, then what would be happen for the future of this kind of groups? If the sterile male means, I mean the male will not, uh, if there is no female, male will uh, perish. If there is only female, Female will legs, only sterile legs, and ultimately leads to uh, extinction. That means broadly, this extinction may not happen across the world. It has a small impact from uh, locally, then it will extend to the globally. That's why the temperature of our breeding, uh, breeding physiology is very essential to determine that uh, success. If this is that uh, in the case of turtles, this is an established fact. If there is a higher temperature, it produces female. It's a lower temperature. It produces female. Male. It's vice versa of crocodile. These are the established facts about how this temperature determines that what you call that uh, sex ratio of reptiles. These are the only two well uh, classic uh, examples available with this. We do not know. I was mentioning there are about 9,000 uh, squamata that is uh, both lizards and snakes are uh, living across the world. We do not know. Whether this all species follow certain kind of, kind of uh, uh, temperature determination for sex or not, uh, without knowing all these things, we may have uh, lose some of the species because of climate change. Here, this simple uh, two uh, photographs I wanted to explain. There is one group of snakes called uh, Europentis. This species found only in Western Ghats as well as part of. Uh, Sri Lanka, almost 35 species are reported in 1980 by one of the well-known uh, uh, Dr. Amy Rajendran and uh, Professor Galgan. After that, there is no studies, comprehensive studies available or uh, undertaken. It's more than 99% of these snakes are burrowing species. If the burrowing species are uh, sensitive to the environment, you can uh, see the uh, snakes only that during the wet season. That and as well as during the monsoon, you can see the snake. What happened? That changes in the monsoon pattern, which will affect the species certainly. We do not know whether what kind of impact so far happened to this group. Similarly, other interesting facts as a, as a group of animals is terrestrial, uh, I mean, arboreal species. You see, this is a uh, painted branch back tree, tree snake, which is so elegant and nice. You could see this uh, snake only in uh, Western Ghats. Continuous, uh, desert, I mean, uh, habitat loss, habitat degradation, these kind of uh, arboreal species, not only snakes, there are a amount of arboreal lizards also facing threat due to the desertification. What happening, when I uh, going for certain literature, it was mentioning that uh, uh, historical nesting sites of marine turtles, uh, that the uh, beach is, uh, sandy beach, the temperature is uh, increasing day by day, this uh, affecting that uh, what you call the uh, sex ratio. That is why that uh, species now uh, all the turtles try to get alternative sites. Alternative sites being uh, uh, vulnerable now. That's what the species brought in uh, all marine turtles uh, nesting sites being managed in few uh, years or few decades or uh, few centuries. Probably will be losing our all marine turtle species. See, the, the subject is uh, not well studied. Actually, that is uh, my uh, good friend, Kumaruguru, uh, has a lot of established theory about how this uh, climate change has an impact on larger group of animals, uh, tiger, lion, 
and other elephants other other species but this little known uh, groups are not well studied now scientists has come together in finding out a uh, lot of uh, theories as well as some kind of a uh, captive research one paper is called lizard succumb to global warming climate change is already sending reptile population extinct worldwide why because i was mentioning various factors called uh, frequent rainfall flooding irregular rainfall irregular drought and uh, desertification these kind of uh, factors coupled with this reproductive behavior and uh, making the species become uh, rare and rare and uh, having a lot of uh, problem in future other uh, things just uh, simply this uh, uh, today's webinar is going to give some kind of insight what kind of uh, research we needed because in india there is not much uh, research is happening on the impact of uh, climate change on reptile community that uh, i simply i have uh, uh, felt out only six points one is the changes in frequency and intensity of flood cyclone and other weather events inflicted on living organism particularly ectothermic reptiles ectothermic vertebrates called the amphibian reptiles second thing is amphibian and reptiles play a critical role in food webs linking terrestrial and aquatic ecosystem and their ecology connected with rainfall and temperature patterns if unless we going to study that uh, food web of uh, reptiles with other group of organisms not only uh, amphibian reptiles other group of organism also face some kind of threat due to the climate change then uh, that uh, established uh, theory so far happening is temperature play a vital role in reptile physiology and reproduction so this should be studied in future the another thing is uh, alteration in the environment or uh, temperature affects their activity uh, their pattern physiology and distribution pattern see this uh, what happened um, uh, we, i was mentioning around uh, 23 species of crocodile almost uh, 30 species of uh, turtles and 250 to 60 species, 300 species of lizard and 300 species of uh, snake only few species are listed out in our wildlife uh, act which are the protected species we may not knowing what happening to other species now so that i was mentioning about that uh, what happening uh, across the world scientists now see urgent action and impact of climate change on reptiles and amphibians this is at uh, at back yes. this is the reason now uh, this uh, uh, the webinar is being organized and wanted to bring youngsters to study that uh, youngsters to bring a lot of uh, youngsters to take up this kind of study and find out uh, uh, species wise bio- biology and species wise uh, issues about uh, what is the physiology what is the reproductive biology how this climate change will affect reptilian community uh, to be studied this is a today's uh, uh aim of uh, today webinar there is one more paper called current extinction rate of reptiles and amphibians due to climate change due to invasive species all these things are coming into the uh, light and we should uh, go for a uh, detailed studies and find out whether these uh cold blooded animals having impact of uh, climate change this impact good whether it wipe out the population locally or which going to affect the globally should be studied now so at the end i am coming to the end that climate change and reptile conservation as scenarios of various climatic condition unfold species at the limits of their in- environment tolerance will be especially at risk that's what i given example on example of europelid snake these europelid snakes are uh, a vulnerable due to the habitat loss and a use of excess pesticide in tea and coffee plantation on western ghats as well as sri lanka then other risk is uh, have a, what is called a, a loss of uh, forest green cover this green cover only give a, uh, adequate uh, habit micronutrients uh, uh, for uh, smaller little known lizards this uh, species is going to be at risk due to this uh, continuous uh, uh, deforestation 
in addition to predicting effects of altered climate on hepatofauna management alternatives to be designed to ensure the habitat quality vulnerabilities will be studied to be assessed this is a today motive of this subject it is things i will conclude uh, this session if uh, people uh, interested in the subject maybe uh, share their feelings with me now so thank you